ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gladdening Light. My name is John Wells, and I'm so happy to have been asked to participate in this unique symposium. I especially wish to thank Pat and Randy Robertson for their warm and gracious hospitality and the opportunity to spend time in this beautiful town, and to thank Barbara Rotten for her guidance, encouragement, and support through the ages. I've known her since 1980. We're very good friends. The presentation I'm making today is called Florilegium, not a book of flowers, but a kind of bouquet culled from books. Excerpts, a motto, an epigram, some songs, fragments from complicated sacred texts, which are dear to me, from Pythagoras to Cole Porter, Giordano Bruno to Betty Comden and Adolph Green to Solomon. This is my second expedition into a territory which is very new to me, the first being a midnight mass on All Saints Day in Manhattan, which we performed in a gallery of our building that Randy was telling you about, which is now defunct. It's going to be a big glass high rise, very expensive apartments. I am not quite sure why I have been asked to do such a thing, but so, but I have, so I will. So ladies and gentlemen, here goes Florilegium. Render to the immortal gods the consecrated cult. Guard well your faith. Revere the memories of the illustrious heroes of spirits Demigods, experiment, make it your motto day and night, experiment, and it will lead you to the light. If my advice you'll only employ, the future can offer you infinite joy and merriment. Experiment, and you'll see. Be curious, though interfering friends may frown. Yet furious at each attempt to hold you down. The apple on the top of the tree is never too high to achieve. So take an example from me and experiment and you'll see a cold porter song i'm very fond of and this is common and green live today tomorrow is waiting in the wings who knows what it brings the future waits, the present swings from day to day. In Brooklyn or China, across the bay, only once comes this particular sky. Only once these precious hours will fly. Only once in a lifetime today goes by. So live, live, live. Come on and live today. Morzegos mortis, Rogorabnus, Sumlio fortis, Et in Arcadia ego. I am the death of death. I am called a lamb, I am a strong lion, and in Arcadia I am king. I am the voice which manifests itself beyond my thinking. It is I who they call 
the thought of the invisible, I am the word, unique, ineffable, immaculate, immense, inconceivable. This is a hidden light which yields a fruit of life springing from a living water on the invisible source. I have sent forth an appeal to the ears of them that know I have called you to enter again into the supreme and perfect light. You shall enter into this light. There you shall receive glory from the hands of those who glorify, those who are appointed to give thrones shall give you thrones. You shall receive robes from those who give robes, and by those who baptized, you shall be baptized. I hide myself in each individual. Within them I manifest myself and every thought has desired while seeking for me, because it is I who have given the universe its image. He has manifested the infinities. He has revealed those that it is difficult to interpret and that are hidden he has preached concerning those who dwell in the silence with the first thought he has manifested himself to those who are in the darkness. He has given instruction concerning himself to those who are in the depths, to those who dwell in the secret treasury. He has spoken of the ineffable mysteries, and all of them have become sons of light, and the word which was produced which was produced from my thought became three monads, the father, the mother, and the son, voices that dwell in his sensibility, having within it a word, possessing all glory, and having three masculinities, three femininities, three powers, and three names, 
which are in this wise. Three quadrangles, which are quadrangles in the secrecy and silence. As for me, I have put on the person of Jesus. I have brought him out of the bitter tree and have established him in the dwelling of his father and the waters did not recognize me and an imperceptible I and my seed, which belongs to me, this saying shall I establish in its holy light on high in the silence unattainable. Amen. Per qui tant alto, il verde cerno, capre la porte diamante nere, per gli occhi, entre il mio nome e per l'edere, nausse, viva, si nutra, regno eterno. Love, by whom I distinguish the truth so remote and high, who opens the black and adamantine gates, enters my spirit through my eyes, and is born to see, lives, is fed. <coughs> As eternal reign for this, he calls into being all that heaven and earth and hell contain. He causes true copies of the absent to be present, sermons of powers and hurling straight strikes, wounds the heart ever and discovers every inward. Therefore, base throng, look to the truth. Incline your ears to my not false speech. Open, open if you can. Your eyes, cross-grained and mad as you are, you believe him a child. Because you understand so little, because you change rapidly, he seems elusive. You are eyeless. You call him blind. It's a poem by Giordano Bruno. I am dejected, I am depressed, yet resurrected and sailing the crest. Why this inflation mixed with deflation? What explanation? I am in love. Such Conflicting questions ride around in my brain. Should I order cyanide or order champagne? <laughs> oh, what is this sudden jolt? I feel like a frightened cold just hit by a thunderbolt. I'm in love, 
I know the odds were against me before. I had no flair for flaming desire, but since the gods gave me you to adore, I may lose, but I refuse to fight the fire. So come and enlighten my days, never depart. You only can brighten the blaze that burns in my heart. I'm wildly in love with you, and so in need of a stampede of love. And so in need of a stampede of love. The Lord is on my head like a crown, and I shall not be without him. The crown of truth was woven for me, caused your branches to blossom in me. The crown is not dry and sterile. You live and blossom on my head. Your fruits are full and perfect and full of salvation. Fini. <laughs>